Good morning. I'm Christy. If you happen to have a lemon in your refrigerator, have an adult in your house slice off two pieces for you. One leave plain and the other one we want to sprinkle some sugar on it. We're going to use the lemon in our children's time in a little bit. So most of you remember the story about Joseph and the coat of many colors. You might remember that Joseph's father loved him the best, and this made his brothers very jealous of him. So they did a really bad thing and put Joseph in a pit and then sold him to some men who were traveling through the area toward Egypt. This is the rest of the story about that very same Joseph. Joseph, later on, had a choice. He could choose to punish his brothers for what they had done to him, or he could forgive them and reunite with them. Joseph chose forgiveness, and God wants us to forgive others too. The story comes from Genesis 45, and the verses are 4 through 7. They say, Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. For two years now there has been a famine in the land, and for the next five years there will be no plowing and reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. I'd like a few of us to think about a time that someone wronged us and we got angry about it. Was there ever a time that someone did something that you really didn't like and you were angry about it? Those things hurt us. We have to make choices every day about whether to forgive people. Let's see what it's like when we choose to forgive others. So here I have some slices of lemon. If you have your lemon at home, go ahead and grab it now. One of these slices has is plain, okay? And, woo! That is sour. What does it taste like to you? Now, I want you to think about a time that you forgave someone. Got that in your mind? Now, let's take a bite of the sugar-coated side of the lemon. Mm, much better much better. How is the bitter lemon like or unlike not forgiving others? How did the sugar change the taste of the lemon? How does forgiveness change our relationships to be sweeter? The first lemon was bitter, like the bitterness we feel when we don't forgive. The second lemon was sweet and tasty, like the sweetness we feel when we forgive others. God chooses to forgive us when we ask, and Joseph forgave his brothers for the horrible things they did to him. God wants us to follow Joseph's example of sweet forgiveness and forgive others. Let's pray. God, thank you for forgiving us. Please help us remember Joseph and find the strength to forgive people who wrong us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.